Welcome to the TB2J tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use TB2J to calculate the full exchange tensor, including the isotope exchange, the unisotope exchange, and the Janoshinsky-Glia interaction parameters with TB2J one-year interface. We need to start from a non-collinear DFD calculation with spin orbit coupling turned on, and in this tutorial, we are using chromium iodide as an example. After the DFD calculation, we will need to generate the spinner value function, which uh, include both the spin up and spin down inside. In this uh, value function, the spin up and spin down channel are not split into different files. And with this value function files, we can use the same script 1.12j.py to generate the exchange parameters. Uh, we need to tell the code that the uh, Hamiltonian is a spinner one. And we need to specify that the proofs, the spinner is one in here. And uh, we need to tell the code what is the magnetic element, which is chromium, and the key mesh. And the Fermi energy. Then we can run it. Okay, so we can see that uh, we have the TB2J results in this directory. And we can have a look at exchange.out. In this section, we can see the position of the atoms and the magnetic moment, which has the XYZ component. And here it is uh, basically along the Z direction. And then we can have a look at the exchange uh, section, which we have the uh, isotropic exchange, the janoshinsky molia and the anisotropic exchange. For, for the non-collinear calculation, we need to do three calculations because the, uh, the janoshinsky molia interaction and the anisotropic exchange have some component which are uh, not physically meaningful in, in, in one calculation due to the kind of perturbation we do. Uh, and we need to do three calculations with the structure rotated from the z-axis to x, y, and z respectively. This is uh, this procedure is covered in another video, and uh, I encourage you to uh, to watch that one. In that video, the exchange parameters were calculated with the uh, TB2J CS star interface, but the uh, of the procedure is the same. The only thing uh, different is that we use the one functions. Now, within this procedure, we need to do three calculations for the x, y, z. Uh, structure. Uh, this is already done here in this uh, directory, so then we can use the tb2j merge.py, which is the same as in the, in the other tutorial, and we can specify x, y, z, and the type, which is structure, and then we can generate the uh, combined tb2j results and we could see that the exchange.out file, which we have the first neighbor, second neighbor, and third neighbor, and so on, uh, for the isotropic, uh, anisotropic, and jelashinsk interaction. And we can have a look at the overview of the exchange parameters. For example, we could see the uh, first neighbor, second neighbor, and so on in J. And we have the uh, Janoshinsky molia which is zero for the first neighbor and non-zero for only for the second neighbor and uh, which and the fifth neighbor, and so on. And we have the anisotropic exchange at the different uh, distance. One thing we need to note is that the calculation of the DMI and the anisotropic exchange can be very inaccurate with the uh, 1 in 90 interface. That is because the DMI and the anisotropic exchange are often quite small for many materials. They could be uh, like much smaller than uh, MeV, and uh, in the one function Hamiltonian, we could have Lois, which are also uh, at this level or even uh, larger than the than these uh, quantities. 
and that is especially true when we need to do uh, the disentanglement. And for now, we do not have a very good solution, and we need to uh, wait for the development of the vinylization method. So we need to be very careful to check the noise level in the vinyl function Hamiltonian. We could check, for example, uh, when we plot the band structure, we could see how much the vinyl function uh, band structure deviate from the DFD band structure, and that can give you an estimation of how noisy the vinyl function is. And another check is that for some uh, structure, due to the symmetry, some of the component should be symmetric, or sometimes they should be zero. For example, uh, for the chromium iodide, uh, the first neighbor DMI should be zero, and if it is not, uh, that is due to the noise in the one function Hamiltonian. We need to be very careful to check if these things are correct or not. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.